Hello, great Tibetans around the globe. I am very much happy always. And uh, today, I've been thinking about all that the administrator or TBC admin has been saying. And many a times, we need to really think deep and also remember that the meeting that we attend is not just for us to go there and then listen or even make contribution. We are there to listen and listen attentively. And from everything I've gathered so far, I've come to realize that the success and progress of our community, this, our community, depend solely on our shoulders. It depends on us and we have everything needed to make it work. We have all the material, all the resources you can think of to get our community up to speed. And why do I have to say this? I'm saying it because the community itself, the platform is moving steadily, but the community is somehow lagging behind, which ought not, not to be so. Because we have everything needed for us to move with speed of light. But I don't just see the reason or know the reason why we are not doing it rightly. Why am I saying all these things? Guys, okay, listen to me and listen clearly. I'm going to take my time to do all this and do it slowly so that every one of us can be able to follow along and catch up with what I'm trying to show here and what I'm trying to bring out to all of us to understand. So without taking much of your time, I want to start it step by step. And again, even before going there, I want us to realize the fact that what MB Derek is doing is unique. We should appreciate what he's doing and then listen attentively and always make sure that we follow the instructions and guidelines. He's a good example when it comes to everything we can do to keep TBC moving and then on a steady pace. Now, without taking much of the time, as I said earlier on, I want to start this and show you something. If you look at here, this is my KCBO, a.k.a. back office, Kringle Cash back office. And if you look up there, you're going to see the expiration date of my account is 26th August 2022. Okay? But for the sake of this tutorial uh, update that I'm making, I want to do something here. I want to pay for my account. And doing it is to show you that this is what we all should be doing. It is not necessary that we'll be waiting for people to do it for whereas we can be able to do it. It's not hard. There's no hard and fast rule to this. There's, it's not a, a rocket science. So I have done this severally. I will still do it again. And I purposely want to do this so that we all will understand how important what we've been talking about really is. So I click on the three lines up here by the top right side. I just tap on it. Okay. Then I click on account. I click on your account. Then I click on your account in blue. Okay, that is it. Here is showing my expiration date. So I come here when I scroll up. When you are coming down here, you're going to see Kiwi Browser for Android, pay with crypto. You ignore those ones. What you are looking for is pay with K Love. Under it, you are going to see buy bulk credit with K Love. But where I am going to click now is pay with K Love. So I tap on it. You see it? I'm paying for my own account. Even though my account is going to expire on the 26th, today is, um, I think today is two or four, thereabout. So let me just demonstrate how to have that done. So I click on continue. It's already highlighted. If I'm paying for another person now, I'll just click here, pay for order, and then impute the person's email here. But I'm not paying for someone else. I'm paying for my account. So I have to return here, pay for my account. So I click continue. When this pops up, you will see everything highlighted here. So I'll just click on proceed to check out. You see every other thing highlighted here. Then I click on this small box. I agree to the 
above terms and understand that this payment will be applied to my account. I agree. So I click on pay now. Then this will pop up. So you take your time to look critically on this. You see, admin will not be reliable for any transaction sent to different account or transaction that has incorrect value. Responsible. That's what should be there. So I'll now you look at receiving address here. I click to copy it. You see what I do here? I copy it. Then I go straight to my MetaMask because that is where I'm going to apply this uh, payment. I open to my MetaMask. Let it open. It's just as simple as that. I'm going to do this in a way that all of us will pick it and follow up without having any difficulty doing that. So I click on K Love. I'm having about 25K Love. So the next thing you will see the balance of the K Love. You see receive, send, swap. What am I doing now? I am paying. So I have to click on the one center, the one at the center. Okay, that is a send. You wait. When this comes up, you take your time to look everything through. Okay, then I press and hold that area where it said to. Then when this thing comes up, I click paste. That receiving wallet address is already pasted. You look at here, you will see add this address to your address book. Don't even bother doing that because you are still learning. But the next thing you are going to do is click on the when you look down, you will see next in, in, in a blue color. You tap on it. So you see it here now. That's good. So the next thing I'll do is that I'll go back to my back office where I'm making the payment and then come to K Love amount. I click on it, copy. Usually I double check this to avoid any mistake whatsoever. Just want to be clear because I'm taking my time to have this done. Then I go back to the MetaMask. I'm doing this so that both the old members who don't know this and even new members can pick up and start doing it. Because like I said earlier on, the system is working, but most of us seem to be sleeping somehow. So I paste the figure. The next thing I'll do is I'll click on next. So when you click, you wait. So it's taking time to organize everything and come up with the exact amount to pay. So you will see send down here. I tap on it, send. You wait while it's going. Just relax. There's no need to be in a hurry. I don't have to be in a hurry, even though this is going to take more of my megabyte to have it done, but this is for tutorial reason because we need to catch up with what is happening in this very community. You wait. Transaction, yeah. So when you look up here, you're going to see, if you look up at the screen, you see that my time is 1.25 p.m. So when you look at this here, you're going to see the date and exactly the time. You see, the, the, the amount has been deducted. Then you will see that number has 304. This is the latest transaction I just did now of uh, 1.38504 KLOV. Then I click on that very line here. So you see this. View on BS scan. You click on it. The next thing you're going to do is you look out for the transaction hash. So you click on this box at the front. Just tap on it. It's already copied. When you just click there, you have it copied. Then I go back 
on my KCBO where I initiated the transaction. And then look here, it said, if you have completed the transaction, impute transaction ID below under this box, TX ID. I paste it. And the next thing is to click on send transaction ID. And once I tap here, that is it. Payment is successful. I tap here. Thank you for your payment. It's as easy as that. Very simple. Straightforward. And now, let me quickly check something here. I've just done the payment. I come to my dashboard. Okay? See, with speed of light, within seconds, you look at here before, you saw it 26th August, but now it has just forwarded it to 26th September. So don't be afraid of even paying ahead of time. I just did this so that we understand that this thing is not a rocket science. Okay? And you don't want to risk paying on the same day that your account is expiring. You may end up losing on the team. So, why this is here, I said it earlier on, and I can continue to repeat it, that the system is working, but most of us seem to be dragging things. We don't have to do that. Why do we need to do this? We are looking at a situation whereby we will match up with the speed of what TBC admin has put in place for us. Take a look at this. When you click on the, uh, the three horizontal lines here on the menu, and then you come to marketing, you go down to the core team. When you look at the core team, there's something I want us to take a look at there. You just come here, you scroll down. This is the area I want us to think about it deeply. You look at this very place. We have core team, we have backup team, we have rotator. And when you add all these things together, in core team, we have 11,111. In backup team, we have 5,000. In rotator, presently, we have about 2,092. When you add all these things together, how many are you going to have? In all, I have added it up. And now look at 2,092, presently in rotator, 11,111. Core team plus 5,000 backup team. Everything is 18,203. Now, I want us to think about this. As it is now, the account holders of K Love is just little above. Is it about 2,000 or thereabouts? At most, I don't even know whether it's up to 3,000. And we've been talking about that the number of holders is going to affect the number, the, 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 the price of K Love. Is going to affect it positively. And here we are having about 18,000 members, active members who are paying their program fee. Now, what do you think will happen if all these people paying their program fee with K Love, let me just say half of them have K Love account with just, let me say, at least, at least $1 in it? $1 multiplied by 10,000 or 18,000. How much do you think that that is going to be? So, if we are always coming here to check how much do we have, how, how the, what is the present price of K Love now, you look at it, you see it by yourself. We can equally increase the liquidity of this very coin that you are talking about. We believe in what we have. Nobody is paid to come and wait. You are not paid to wait. You don't join a, a, a community to watch. You join a community because you want to add to the force to move it forward. You join a community because you want everything happening there to take up a stand and then you move. So when you look at it, you will find out that we have the number already. The numbers are already there. And now, why are we wasting time? Let us make it a must, a mandatory. Many a times, we, the member helpers, Anybody that comes to me, I always have been doing that for some time now. If you come to me after attending to your issue, I always like to ask the question, do you have MetaMask wallet? In essence, do you have K-Love account? Even if it's just $1 there, it's something. How much more when you even put something there and the money is increasing? 
It's not, we don't have to wait until we have about two, five, not even five. One is something, just one. So the point still borders on us here. The whole thing rests on our own because uh, we are the one to give credibility to what we are doing. It's not those who are still standing or sitting on the fence waiting to see what happens. We already believe in this very cause and we are working hard to make it stand. So why are we now behaving as if we don't really believe in what we have, we are doing? So folks, if you listen and take it up very well, you understand, you understand very well that what the TBC admin is doing is second to none. And as such, since we have seen the superiority of this over most of the things we are seeing flying uh, here and there. Why not come out and mass and support it? Why don't we show that we really believe in what we have? We should not be uh, saying one thing and then doing another thing. Listen and listen very well. Whatever you come to the meeting, don't just come there to start saying, okay, what is admin really talking? You are just after, hey, click here to withdraw. That is not the issue. We are building this very community and we have all the tools already to make it work. So, like I said earlier on, the progress of this very community depends on us. We are the one to promote this very community to the extent, whatever extent you can think of. And I like one thing that the ambassador said or how he went about his uh, last audio message. He was busy doing something, acknowledging all the members in their country. For their various uh, roles that they're playing. Okay? You have people who register at least, even if it's one. You have people who have two. You have people who have ten. You have people who have hundreds. So what is that showing you? Showing you that you don't join a community to wait. You join a community to make it work. You join a community to make it progress. We should be progressive, man. We should learn to follow things as they come. Except we don't believe in what we are doing. But if you really believe in what you are doing, I don't see any reason why we should be afraid. TBC is over six years, going to the seventh year. And we are seeing how we are moving. We are seeing how we have weathered various storms and everything you can think of. So if you believe in what you are doing, I think doing the needful, doing the needful is not negotiable. We should all try our best to create MetaMask account and have K-Love imported there. We should do that. Doing that is not difficult. You just come to Play Store and then download the, the MetaMask. And that's it. It's not difficult. It's not a rocket science. So guys, let us see what we have here and try to understand what we are doing. Don't depend on others paying for you. Learn it by yourself. How long will they pay for you? By waiting continually, waiting for people to be doing it, you are showing indirectly that, hey, it's like, anyway, this thing is not whatever comes out of it. We have overgrown that. We have outgrown that whatever comes. We are really seeing that something huge is coming here. So, guys, when we contribute positively to what we are doing, it shows that we strongly believe in it. It shows that we know what we are doing. It shows that we know that this thing is working. There is no doubt about it. This thing is working. Everything about TBC is evidence that this is not a joke. It has never been a joke. You talk about what the community is doing. Doing goodwill around the globe. Second round of goodwill is coming to India because of explosive growth there. So why don't we imitate them? You see, so far, this community have spent over... Let me say, presently, $100,000. For what? For goodwill. This is being given to people, not the members, but to the less privileged ones around the globe. Are we not building enough credibility that make people don't want to believe in what you are doing? And you that is already there, you are seeing how we are moving. Why are you still doubtful? We should not doubt. When we come here, we see multiple opportunities that is achievable in this very community. So why are we still afraid? Why are we still doubtful? We should not be doubtful for anything. Because when we look at what we are having and see evidences all around, 
we should not allow the shiny object out there to distract us. If we are getting it and getting it right, we should not allow anything. Because here in the community, you get what you, the, the, the amount of input you get, you put, is what you're going to get. We see people who are steadily doing their best in terms of uh, having their members activate their account, both the new and the old ones. You see what is coming to them. So why are we still acting as if we are afraid? We should not be afraid because what we have here is going to move things around. There's nothing you can think of presently that you can compare to the opportunity we have in TBC community. So guys, let us see and understand that admin is not joking. And you, having signed up, prove to others that you are not joking. And when they see that you are not joking, they will take you more serious. Because here is not a child play. I have to end it by now. But thank you for your time. Let us do this and get it done rightly. Thanks for your time. This is me, AK Optimist. Take care.